thought I'd do a little, um, little video on this um, Lee safety scale, on the beam scale. Um, if you've just got into reloading or you've just acquired one of these and want to use it, uh, what you must do before you start using it, when you take it out of the box or if you've acquired it off someone, is zero it. Okay, so it has to be zeroed before you use it. So how do you do that? Right, simply I'll explain uh, in another quick video how to do measurements on it so I'll just concentrate on how you zero it okay and I'll have an explanation in another video so all you do is you move this ball up to zero okay whoops and then on this slide see all these numbers at the bottom okay there's a zero there you move that slide along until the zero is visible in the window and then you lock it off There's a little locking nut there. Make sure it's on zero, lock it off. And in this top window, you wanna see a faint line on the zero and a faint line on the nine. You don't wanna see any lines anywhere along there. These are tenths of a grain, okay? So you can lock it off and then you can do your fine adjustment to get that just right. So that's just about right for me there. I've got the zero shown in the window. I've got a faint line there and a faint line at this end and nothing in the middle, okay? And here I've got the ball set to the zero. So, pop it back on. Pop the pan on with nothing in it. And now if you're lucky, that pointer will sit right there and give you a zero. And you must make sure actually that it's centralized so that you're not too far that way because you'll be on the magnets okay and the magnets can give you a false reading so come away over this way make sure it's swinging freely like so okay <clears throat> so you've zeroed it you've got zero here zero there locked off and now let's see and you got the pan on let's see what happens so it's reading high okay so we need that pointer to be in line with that one so how do we do that then right the way we do that is with this little null nut here that goes up and down on this screw okay so if you imagine in physics this is balancing out if it's if it's up there you need to bring this nut forward okay to bring it back down so wind it forward a bit and then see where you are put the tray back on make sure it's swinging freely so you're looking for this to line up I've put a little bit of paint on here by the way just to make it easier for me to see and I've also raised the scale off the bench so it's high up it's nearly in front of my face okay just makes it easier to read okay so you can see it's a little bit out there it needs to come up so the nut now needs to go back a little bit so wind it back stop on zero right so I'm happy with that maybe just a just a and that's a Okay, so that's that's zeroed, okay? My pointer is pointing where it should be now. And I've got this set to zero, and I've got that set to zero, and I've got the pan on there, okay? So the scale now is zeroed, and now I can use it to start weighing out loads. So, how do I weigh loads out? Right, okay, well let's pick on something. Let's say you wanna weigh out 46 grains, okay? So, see this, these numbers here? I'll go in a little bit. These numbers here, you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. This is in tens of grains. So that's 10 grains, that's 20 grains, that's 30 grains, that's 40 grains. So let's just say the weight I'm looking for is 
46.5 grains. Okay, just picked a number out of the air there. So 46.5 grains. So I want 40 grains to start with. So I'll go, whoops, along to 40. Okay. Then on this scale here, I'll remove the locking nut. So this scale here is single grains. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, up to nine grains. And this top scale in this window where these lines appear are tenths of a grain. Okay. So what did I say? 46.5 grains. So I've set the ball to 40. So this window I need to be seeing a six. Okay. So there's a six in that window and up in this window, 46.5, I need to see a line on the five, okay? Which would give me the point five. Which is around about there. So I'll lock that off and then we'll have a close look at it. Whoops, I've moved it. I'll just take that off camera to look at it properly actually before I show you anything. Okay. Just had to do that off camera because it's a little bit difficult staring over the top of the camera. All right, so now that is set to 46.5 grains. I can show you that if I just tilt the angle of it. So we've got the ball sitting in the 40. We've got this scale showing the six. And it's slightly past the six, as you can see there. And if you look up in the top window, there's a line on the five, and there's a faint line either side of the five, okay? That just means that that's, it's, that's how sensitive it is. So that's reading 46.5. Okay, if I take that, unlock that. So let's just say I just wanted 46. So, I'll move that until, now the lines up the top, there isn't one on the five, they're faintly at either end. You'll always see some sort of a line, so just make sure if you want a whole number like six, that you've got a faint line on the nine and a faint line on the zero, and that means that's bang on six then. Okay, so if we move that back down to here, so that's on, that's on zero, so you'll see as I move it along, You'll see the tenths, the line in the tenths window will go along, okay? And then when I reach a whole number, it goes back to zero. All right, so I hope that makes sense. All right, 46.5, and then you can weigh, once you've got the right, once you've got that set right, you can, Pop your, pop your powder in there and that should balance out and you'll know when you've got the right weight. So the weight that I'm measuring at the moment is only six grains because it's a start load for my Hodgson HS6 uh, loading 357 Magnum. So I use this for six grains. So how would I get six grains on there then? Right. These are tens of grain, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, so I don't want that many, I only want six, which isn't even 10, yep, so I'll put that to zero. And on this scale, I just need simply to find six in the window. So, there's the six, lock it off, I need faint lines. So faintly in the top, the lines are at either end of the scale, which means it's it's neutral, and I've got that on the six. Now, I'll pop the pan on. Okay, now I've got this little weight here on the end of my pencil. That weighs six grains. So I'll drop that in and let's see what what happens. Uh, it's going to be ever so slightly out. <clears throat> there is a reason for that. 
and the reason for that is this little knurled nut on the top if you start taking it on and off like I've been doing this little nut can actually move a little bit okay so this way you've got to be really careful when you're setting it up and you're not too heavy handed that scale just ever so slightly out actually so try that again just damp it off Okay, so my little, my little sliding scale there was just ever so slightly out. And it is really is that sensitive, actually. Okay, so then it's now reading, that's on zero, that's on six. There's nothing in that window apart from either end. So that's reading six grains. And I know that weighs six grains, and it's spot on. Okay, and to show you how sensitive it actually is, if I just blow it a little bit from behind the camera, and that's just a gentle, not even enough to blow out a candle, and see how it moves. So it is actually a really good sensitive scale, but it's just a little bit setting it up it can just be a little bit awkward. All right, so I hope that gives a, a simple enough explanation of that beam scale um, and the fact that you have to zero it before you use it. And be careful after you've zeroed it, try not to knock it about too much when you set the weight that you want on there. All right, I hope some of you find that interesting. Thanks for watching.